Andrew here with game four of the set between Figs versus Jared. Figs only needs one more game to close things out. And Jared, Figs is playing Eldegon versus Jared's Nana, seeking to just beat Jared down as quickly as possible. You know, standard of game plan for aggro. Let's see if Jared gets his bridge, but he doesn't get it again. This is disastrous for Jared and a self support. Oh no. This could be the end for our, for Jared. That is going to hit though, but that's going to force uh, Nana to be left in the front line and Jared doesn't even have Nana's in the retreat. He can't use Jenny to heal. He's just going to attack Eldegon with the intent of milling Figs in a pretty strong position here. Six cards in hand. He has lots of cards to just throw down on the field to beat down Jared. Hope ideally he plays two one costs here and just hits Jared in the face three times, brings him down to zero orbs. Let's see if he can do it. He ha deploys a Sigurd too. Not quite ideal, but still pretty good. And that is going to hit. That is a 60 into 50. That self support is not going to save Jared. Jared brought down to one orb. Does he get his bridge promo? Unlike with the serious matchup, it would actually be pretty wise for him to bridge promote here. Uh, Jared is going to play more of the small overclass pieces. He's going to fly Nana back, and he's going to crit to remove that uh, Sigurd from the board. Um, and now Jared needs to decide whether he wants to attack to try and mill to get Nana in his retreat. He decides not to. He's just going to pass the turn to Figs. He does not want to take the risk of giving Figs his orbs. Um, I feel like I would have attacked him Jenny at least. I think Faye's a bit risky since Figs runs a lot of 10 supports in this deck, but I think that Jenny is a pretty low risk option. Um, he's going to... Mm, Ah, that's kind of unfortunate for Figs, though. Uh, I feel like you want to be taking advantage of uh, Jared's weakness of the early game and just going all out. But Jared, so Figs doesn't even play any low-cost beaters. He just goes for the bridge promo. Um, does Figs even have... Uh, has he even reached his Eldegon quota? He has. He has an Eldegon and a Seleth, which, due to Seleth's bond skills, also an Eldegon in his bonds. Jared is going to get his promo. He's going to attack with Delthea. He no longer fears attacking with his low cost to mill now that Eldegon is a 70 base. Um, and yeah. Oh, and he doesn't even heal. And Nana heals the Delthea. He's going to go for the overclass play next turn. Figs is probably going to promote him to 5 4 Eldegon this turn. Uh, and if. Uh, all Jared needs is two Delthea in hand, and then he's going to be able to Delthea overclass next turn. This is probably not, this isn't looking so good for Figs anymore. Uh, I think that if I'm Figs, I'm probably just going to, like, deploy a shit ton of units. And just, but, oh man, but Nana's a 70 base now. Hmm. I wonder what was in his hands. He must have just had, like, a ton of high costs in his hand. That's pretty unfortunate. I guess he's going to cross Knight Sigurd out. Uh, oh yeah, so my previous thing about how as long as Jared has two Delthea in his hand is false, but it still is kind of true, because if, if Jared has a Delthea 1 in his hand, then there's nothing Figs can do to stop Jared from uh, just overclassing here. Let's see what Figs decides to do. He dis does decide to cross Knight Sigurd onto the board. Presumably Jared's just going to let Delthea die. Yep. And... Figs goes for face. I feel like it would probably be a better idea for him to clear the Jenny, prevent uh, Jared from using that Jenny as overclass fodder, which he could very well end up doing. Oh, and Jared does not have the one cost Delthea in his hand. It's very fortunate. So now Jared is just going to try and struggle to. Oh, and the miracle emblem. And Sigurd gets left on the board. This could be Fig's opportunity to close out the set here. If Jared's tap moving back with Nana, that has to mean that he like has no Nana in his hand. Yeah, that's unfortunate for Jared. And he gets the Ares pull. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen.
that's unfortunate for Jared. And the Beowulf too. It's going to be five attacks into Jared's face. Jared doesn't have five evades here. And that's it. Let's see. He has two. The third attack comes in. Here's a third dodge. That's gonna hit. And that's it. GG Figs is the winner of Phoenician Gauntlet. I almost legit said to Barn Games there. But Figs ends up taking the set 3 to 1. Unfortunate for Jared. You hate to see that happen. At the same time, I think Figs played very well. Figs, he had a rough Swiss bracket, but he really turned it around at top cut. Really showed with a double 3 0 in the quarterfinals and in the semifinals, and a 3 1 in the finals. Certainly not without a share of good luck, but he certainly played well too. Luck alone doesn't get you a double 3 0 and a 3 1 against some of the best players in this server. Figs with an absolutely astounding tournament. He has done it. He has won his first major. He has won. God damn it, I almost said to Barn Games again. But that's it. He's won Phoenician Gauntlet. Figs is our champion. I'm going to close the recording here. Thank you all for watching.